What is going on guys, Spazmatic here, back inside Destiny 2, and in this video I'll give you guys a guide on the Ace of Spades. So you get the Ace of Spades, Kate's Will, from completing the campaign after the ending, I don't want to spoil the campaign, but once you beat the campaign, um, the first thing you have to do is get 5 invasion kills in Gambit, which is basically, you have to kill the people that invade you, you cannot get kills when you invade your enemy team, it has to be people who invade your side so it's kind of tough um i recommend the crimson i don't know why i was using a dire promise dire promise is really good but i think crimson is like really probably the easiest hand cannon to use in the game right now so most of these hand cannon kills are best to do with the crimson but for the next step after you get the gambit kills you have to get 250 kills in strikes so that's basically just do uh legacy strike not legacy strikes but like just do vanguard strikes and then you'll eventually uh, get the get that done in like probably five strikes or so so it's really really isn't that hard to do next up you have to get 25 headshot head hand cannon kills in the crucible and like i said with the crimson the crimson is really easy to get this done with i know um it kind of it may take a while probably uh probably say it's around five five uh crucible games as well very similar to the strike it's really really not that hard um especially with the crimson but next up you have to find four caches one on EDZ, Nessus, IO, and the Tangled Shore. The one in the EDZ is located where the arms dealer strike takes place. Um, I'm going to it right now. It's very, very easy to find, really. If you know how to get to the arms dealer strike and patrol, um, that's basically where you have to go. Go to this corner. It'll be like inside these, uh, in this wall here, and you'll be able to uh, get that completed there. For the next Cade chest, I went to Nessus, and this is a location where I started off in Exodus Black, and it's really not that hard to find. But once you uh, head to the Exodus Black, just head to the uh, location that I'm going to right now on my Sparrow, and you'll be able to reach the next Cade chest. The next K chest is located on Io in the Terra Base Charon. So it's really not that hard to find. Once you know how to get to Terra Base Charon, you can get to it from the Lost Oasis or the Giant Scar, I believe so. And you just have to go in this area where uh, one of the story missions takes place on Io, where the uh, big drill is. And I just end up jumping up on top of the drill because I think it's just like a shortcut path to it. And then once you get up on that drill thing, you can turn around and the K chest will be in the corner up above. For the next chest, K chest on the Tangled Shore, I went to uh, the Jet Sim of Saturn, started there, and went to this special route. I go off back here. This is where you fight the Rifleman in the Rifleman adventure when uh, you're trying to kill the Barons in the campaign. But going back through here, it's really, it's kind of far away, but it's really not that hard to find at all. Just follow the path that I'm taking, and you'll be able to reach the K chest. So once you collect all the Cade caches or chests on those planets, you then have to do a mission on Titan titled The Ace in the Hole. 
So I'm not going to show the entirety of this quest just because it takes kind of a while. This this mission on Titan it kind of takes a while, but I just want you guys to know that in this mission, um, if you're looking for the ten caches in the mission, in the bottom left you'll see a thing. It says K cache nearby or something like that. You just follow uh, if that's notifications on your screen, just follow that, and you'll be able to find the caches very easy. So once you're completed with the Ace in the Hole, once you collect all ten caches, you'll be completed with the K's will, and then you have to return to. Banshee 44 on the tower and then he will grant you the ace of spades that's all you got to do really isn't that hard I guess the crucible steps might be the hardest but it really once you get that past that it's really not that bad going over the perks has got memento mori reloading after a kill loads magazine with a few extra damage bullets grants a radar while aiming he's got corkscrew rifling high caliber rounds firefly precision kills with this weapon increase reload speed and cause the target to explode dealing solar damage to nearby enemies and it also has smooth grip. And I also have the ornament that I got for getting Kade's exotic stash. I think that's what it's from. And it looks pretty nice there. Going over the lore tab here. I'm not going to read through this. But you guys can pause the video if you guys like. And read through the lore of the Ace of Spades. But going over the weapon in general. I've heard this is like literally one of the best hand cannons in the game at the moment. Just because it has Firefly, Outlaw. And obviously it has Memento Mori, so whenever you get a precision kill, then reload, you have 6 shots in the magazine, always will be 6 shots, that um do extra damage. And you, those and Memento Mori last until you fire those 6 shots. Like even if you proc Memento Mori, and you shoot a shot in that magazine so you have 5 left, you reload, you still have 5 shots when the next magazine. So it's basically until those 6 shots are fired for good out of the weapon and then you'll have to get another precision kill to get memento mori to proc so really 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 good hand cannon i recommend to you guys to get it if you guys don't have it really really not that bad of a quest line but if you guys have any questions feel free to comment them down below i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability and if you guys enjoyed this video on how to get the ace of spades and destiny 2 forsaken don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later back inside destiny 2 peace